We're about to find the surface area revolving a curve about the x-axis. And instead of integrating, we're going to use the trapezoid rule with four subdivisions. So we're not actually going to integrate what we get, but we still need the surface area integral formula. So I have the both of them written down here, and we're going to use the first one because we're evolving about the x-axis, uh, not the y-axis. So let's go ahead and rewrite that. So the surface area is 2 pi integral a to b, f of x square root 1 plus, this is f prime squared dx. So our function is right here, cos 2x. Uh, derivative of f, I'm going to write as f prime. It's negative sine 2x times 2. And if we square it, we have 4 sine squared 2x. Remember, you're squaring the negative 2 and squaring the sine. Oops, 2x. That's pretty important. All right, now we can take it to the surface area formula. Now, what about the x values? The x values are 0 to pi over 4. And we have cos 2x and square root 1 plus. We've already found f prime squared, so it's 4 sine squared 2x dx. Okay, we are now ready to not integrate, but use the trapezoid rule with four subdivisions. So whenever I do these, I like to draw out the interval on a number line. We're going 0 to pi over 4. We're going to split it into four pieces. So easy to draw, We're like that. Now what's the first one? So we'll do our delta x is b minus a over n. So it's pi over 4 minus 0 over 4, which is pi over 16. So first distance is pi over 16. Luckily, we're starting at 0. So 0 plus pi over 16 is pi over 16. We're working in 16th, so might as well turn everything into 16th. So pi over 4 is 4 pi over 16. And so it should be, should be super obvious, 2 pi over 16 3 pi over 16, of course, 4 pi over 16, and if you need it, 0 pi over 16. All right, we have common denominator, so everybody's great with fractions when you're dealing with common denominator. All right, trapezoid rule. How do we do that? Without going over the entire formula, uh, I don't know what our curve's going to look like. It's going to be a little crazy, so I'm just going to pretend it looks something like that. And we want to do the trapezoid rule. So there's our first trapezoid there, second trapezoid there, third trapezoid there, fourth and last trapezoid is there. All right, you only have four trapezoids. So you can individually get the areas. Let's go ahead and get a2, and the other ones are going to be similar. So we have one half times, we average the heights. So I'll just call it uh, h, let's go h2 plus h3, the two heights. h2, h3, those are the vertical uh, lengths of those vertical lines. Uh, now the base is always the same. I'll just use, well, I don't want to use b because. I'm going to use B over here, but the base is delta X. All right, what is H2 and H3? Well, H2 is the Y value associated with pi over 16. H3 is the Y value associated with 2 pi over 16. Now, these numbers are going to go into here. So let's call this function g of x that I just put in the box. Uh, I'm going to include the 2 pi in there as well, push the 2 pi through. 
You could leave the two pi out and just do it at the end is fine as well. All right, H2 is G of, so again, I label it over here, it's G of the y val the x value of H2, which is pi over 16. Now when you plug it in, remember there's two places x shows up, so make sure you plug in pi over 16 for both places. H3 is gonna be G of the other x value, two pi over 16. And that's what's gonna go right in here for H2 and H3. So we're obviously gonna have some pretty serious decimals to compute here, and delta X is just the pi over 16. So we are gonna have some serious decimals to compute, and I could type it into a calculator uh, on screen here, but I think you can probably do that just fine. Just be a little careful because it is sine squared, so just make sure you are squaring it correctly. Uh, it means on your calculator you do sine of 2x and then square it, then add 1. That'll give you area 2. You, of course, have to compute. So that's just area 2. I didn't mean to do that. There we go. That'll give you area 2. You then have to get area 1, area 3, and area 4. There is a trapezoid formula you can use, and it basically you double count all the interior heights and you single count the first and the last. Um, and you can of course use that. But I think with four, uh, only four trapezoids, maybe a little easier to just compute it uh, each individual area separately. But you can go either way.